Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris, where this episode is late, and some things might seem a little bit different. Oh, I've had quite a morning. Microsoft decided that it would be a great idea to update my Windows, and by update, I mean completely break it. So I had to spend the morning completely reinstalling, so that was fun. But hey, maybe this will run a little bit more smoothly? I mean, we can hope. So, currently I don't have my spreadsheet program installed, so yeah. I don't actually know what I was, uh, what I was doing. I think we were preparing to fight the Synthoid Link, grabbing some of these territories over here, and otherwise just generally prepping for that. So let's just check our bastions here. This bastion could definitely use a disruption field generator as well as some of this. I did go through off-camera and do all of the... Uh... Oh yeah, that's a shipyard. <laughs> I did go through off-camera and do all of the various planetary things, so we don't need to worry about that. We do need to upgrade this star hold. This star base can continue to be upgraded, as can this one. And we're not really ready to attack them. So we're going to skip by these anchorages, that's upgrading to a star fortress right now, and we're lacking in alloys because I sold all of our alloys for minerals to do the planets. So that's going to be interesting. I'll go up to fastest speed. There we go. And I guess we could do hangar and gun battery here. Excellent. And we've got a bunch of scum and villainy do going on, that's to be expected. So at this point, pretty much, I think, what we need to be doing is fixing our mineral shortage. Which, interestingly, minerals were at max price. They've fallen a little bit off of six energy credits now. And alloys were at minimum price. So that was exciting. <laughs> we'll go ahead and bump our buy order. For now up to 4,000 monthly minerals, and that's probably going to put us negative in energy credits, isn't it? I'm guessing it will. Because let's see here, in minerals, to buy 5,000 it's 30k. We're buying 4,000. So yeah, that's going to be a slight issue for us. Now we are currently basically out of minerals. I did set up a few additional mining worlds, so hopefully that'll help offset that, in theory. But let's go through and get some of these bastions set up here. So this one here can go ahead and upgrade. This one is going to need some work. There's no doubt about that. Also, what was this? Subject integration? Okay. Fair enough. Excellent. Okay, so let's go do missile hangar. Oh, we are needing to do it like this. So gun, missile, hangar, which it already is. So that's fine. This should be a defense grid supercomputer, target uplink computer, and disruption field generator. Although it's currently got a communications jammer. So we'll just cancel that one. Perfect. And we'll go ahead and upgrade this to a Citadel as soon as the month tick is done. Which will happen eventually. There we go. Excellent. Missile battery and hangar bay, as well as missile battery and hangar bay. These both need Citadel upgrades as well, so we'll queue both of those up. Briscoe Station is upgrading to a Citadel as we speak. And we're still working on converting a lot of this over here. Okay. So we're out of minerals currently. Which is going to be slightly problematic for us. There's no doubt about that. That said, our buy order should go through here. Our trade is not coming in currently. Why is our trade not coming in?
We can afford to buy 5,000 minerals. We're only trying to buy 4,000, and it should be offset by all of this, which, by the way, we should be selling an additional 2,000 food. Oh, okay, that did go. Excellent. It just took a little, little while to update. There we go. That's more like what I expected to see. Perfect. Is it just me, or am I a little quieter than I have been in the past? One second, let me see if I can adjust that just a little bit. Let's see, where would I do that at? In this setup? Here. Yes. Let's see how that goes. Oh yeah, that's definitely louder. That's probably too loud. <laughs> okay, let's bring that down to there. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. So in theory, we should be set up for that now. Now we have a colony ship here that's not currently doing anything. And where is it? It is there. Where is it destined to go? Where have we not colonized? Hmm. I'm guessing it's up over here? I don't know where this colony ship was intended to go. I'm completely discompopulated today. <laughs> Maybe here, but we don't control that. I'm not entirely sure. We could maybe check the expansion planner. And let's see here. Is surveyed? Is colonizable? Oh, habitable section D. That would be what we were going for. Where is this one? Ah! There's even some over there as well. So we're going to need two more colony ships that we apparently missed at some point. But first things first, Habitable Section D is going to be colonized. Let's just double check that we aren't constructing any other colony ships. It looks like we are not. So we should probably just go ahead and expansion planner these. Oh, yeah, we're lacking minerals and we don't have a valid route. <laughs> we'll have to deal with that after we've fixed our mineral shortage. And in order to do that, let's go through our worlds a little bit here. These up here are actually not ones that we're interested in. We're more interested in these frontier sector worlds, which we should probably go ahead and make into proper sectors. Like that. And now they update. Fantastic. This one, well, we're going to need to buy in some minerals. There's no doubt about that. There we go. So we are going to go ahead and put in, ooh, look at this. Nine potential mining districts. One of them is tile blocked. We'll clear both of those. And we'll put in mineral purification hubs here. Actually, no, it's got to be a spawning pool. We need to get this online eventually. And we'll put in a single mining district and we'll designate this as a mining world. Now this one, I'm also going to designate as a mining world, and we'll put in a spawning pool and a single mining district. We gotta get these minerals under control. So, other things over here. There are some of these, like this one, it's taking a ton of civilian, or a ton of minerals and putting them into civilian industries. We are changing those into exotic gas refineries because we need some of those. But what we're really looking for is worlds like this one. And these were ones that were not actually done colonizing yet when I went through previously. So this is going to be a spawning pool here. We're going to designate this a mining world. And we're going to build a mining district. These two... This one's not going to be a mining world, I can tell you that. But this one could be a mining world. Potentially.
So our maximum number of mining districts here is zero. So we're not going to be having any mining districts there. Those are refinery stations. We cannot produce minerals off of stations. So that's fine. Let's see, we have an empty slot available on this refinery station, and that should be an exotic gas refinery. That'll cost us minerals, but it's what we need. Same thing here. Let's see. This is currently a forge world. Yep. Not much we can do about that. Okay, that'll be an that'll be an alloy foundry. Most of these worlds up here are either in a situation like this where we need to get our population to recover, or we have put in population controls because the planets are done. Like, for example, not this one, this we're waiting for it to recover, but uh, like some of them up here, I've definitely put in population controls over time. This is not one of them, though. We'll just go ahead and do that. Now, this is supposed to be a research lab. There we go. Fantastic. I'm still just looking for places where we can get additional minerals. I mean, we could maybe turn off some of our alloy nano plants, but uh, I'd prefer to just get additional minerals over doing that. Of course, our lower worlds are the ones that we're more likely to find things on that we can change. This one actually needs a spawning pool. There we go. Now hopefully as some of that comes online, we'll deal with our mineral shortage. We are not going to want to go to war with this mineral shortage. That is for sure. So we have a newly founded colony here. We're going to designate this as a mining world. And this is going to be... Oh, right, month tick. Which ran us right out of minerals. Okay, we'll buy in 2k minerals. And then we will put in a spawning pool. We'll need to clear these tile blockers. And then put in a mining district. Over here, we're going to put in a spawning pool. This one is, I think, going to be a generator world to help us with this uh, energy credit crisis that we're going to have from buying all of these minerals. <laughs> so we'll do something like that. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Well, I, uh, I apologize for burping there, but uh, I hit my mute button. Apparently, my mute button isn't properly set up. Give me one second. I set up the hotkey for it. Push to mute. Yeah, it is set up. Hmm. Let's see here. It's just not working. Why is that not working? That is very strange. Because I have not enabled push to mute. There we go. Now, in theory... It should work. Yes, it works. Fantastic. Extend our deal. Okay, there's that problem solved. I apologize for that. I guess I didn't test that, I just assumed that it worked. But it did not. Now we should probably try to eliminate as many stations as we can right now. That's not going to be easy. To be sure. I mean, we've got some decent choke points. We can also use our construction ship to jump over here like that. Excellent. And we can grab these resources over here to help us offset just a little bit more. And I am trying to find some star bases that we don't currently need. But unfortunately, we need a lot of star bases. That said, we should probably go through these and just double check here that they're upgrading. So we're going to go all the way down to the bottom here 
Yeah, that all looks good. Anchorage is... Star Fortress, fantastic. This bastion needs to be upgraded to a citadel. We will go Missile Battery, Hangar Bay. There we go. It just took a moment to queue up. And Communications Jammer. Fantastic. You've already got your upgrade queued, as do you. Okay. I think at this point, it's pretty much just the waiting game. So that is a thing that we're going to have to do. I just saw a couple of uh, command prompts popped up, pop up. It shouldn't have come up in the recording, but I'm pretty sure that was Unity installing. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and grab all of this. Fantastic. Okay. Hey, we're actually making money, but that's, I think, because our trade went through. Yeah, that's what it was. Yep, we gotta get this economy fixed before we go to war. A big part of the reason we're having this issue, of course, is our Empire Sprawl, I think. Does that... No, that doesn't affect that. But a lot of it is, I think, our naval cap. Um... Most of our consumption is from jobs. Okay, fair enough. I mean, we do have a lot of jobs utilizing minerals. There's no doubt about that. We have some mining districts that are going to be coming online, so that's perfect. We do need to put in some leadership in these sectors. Assuming the month tick goes through. There it goes. Excellent. We will go ahead and put in this guy. Admin cap from bureaucrats sounds great. We will go ahead and put in this guy. And we will go ahead and put in this guy. There we go. Took him a little bit to show up. Do we have any other sectors that need leadership? Yes, we do. So we will put in, I think, this guy. And what else do we have that could potentially need leadership? Looks like nothing. Excellent. So as soon as the month tick happens, we'll jump out of here. Production targets just expired, and that is definitely something we want, and we don't have the influence for it. Okay, that's going to be exciting. <laughs> that is going to be really exciting, losing production targets right now. Yep. We're going to be losing quite a lot there. Okay, Visual Studio, you can you can hold off. I'm, I'm just going to put you over there for now. You can just keep doing what you're doing, but stay out of the way, please. <laughs> well, now we're actually only losing 986. How did that work? Oh, because our buy order went through. That's why. Fair enough. Yeah, that's all fair enough as well. Well, we're going to need to continue going through our worlds pretty constantly here, looking for any optimizations that we can make. Like, it's just sentinel posts here. I mean, we can't put in any mining districts, right? So can support zero districts of this type. So we're going to need to replace these with something else, but we don't have minerals for that. So I guess it'll have to do. Our naval cap is dropping currently. And I think what we need more than anything right now is to consolidate some of our star bases. 
I think these two have to go. Or perhaps these two have to go. And we can consolidate them behind this one. Sure, they can get to these two systems, but they can't get anywhere else from them. So we need to consolidate that. This station here is an anchorage, which we do still need. Uzun is actually necessary because Zeta Reticuli is an anchorage. That's a shipyard there. Zobir. I mean, we, we just went down to 86 out of 81. So we need to get rid of five more stations, right? So let's look for additional places where we can consolidate defenses. We've got decent consolidation over here as is. Hmm. This is just unfortunate. Not much we can do there. This one's an anchorage, as is this one, which we currently do still need. I mean, do we actually care about holding this system? We kind of don't. So there's one. Same with this one. Right? Yeah, we kind of don't care about holding that system. So that's two. That's three. We do care about holding this region. That said, this is the only place in the region that we really need to hold. We could get rid of these two. Which are cut off over here. So we're kind of giving up on this area and saying this is fine. And these over here would be the ones that we would uh, not be doing that with. Okay. That puts us at 81 out of 81. That will help our energy credits tremendously. As soon as this month tick happens, we'll see that our station cost will go down dramatically. Or rather, our starbase's cost will go down dramatically. So that'll be good. This mining world can repair these... Actually, it can't repair mineral purification plants. Why can't we repair this? Because the hive core is too low? Oh, because we don't have minerals. <laughs> of course. Well, I think it's actually worth it to... Oh, we're getting a month tick. Okay, there we go. I think it's actually worth it to buy in a few minerals here to repair this mineral purification plant. Because we produce 216 minerals here right now, and we can increase that by 15%. That's pretty sizable. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here. It's slightly earlier than I normally would, but I want to get this video up as soon as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And next episode, we are going to continue attempting to solve our economic woes. See you all then.